the court said it didn't evaluate whether this law makes sense, but that the airline risked repercussions that were not reasonable for violating it, such as fines or prison time for employees. The cancellation came a few days before M.S. scheduled departure in August 2016 when he revealed he had an Israeli passport. The airline offered to book him on a non-stop flight to Bangkok with another carrier. The man refused the offer and filed the lawsuit, seeking compensation for alleged discrimination. He also insisted the airline should have to accept him as a passenger. The court rejected his discrimination claim ruling that German law covers discrimination based on race, ethnicity or religion, but not nationality. Germany's Central Council of Jews condemned the ruling, calling it unbearable that a foreign company operating based on deeply anti-Semitic national laws is allowed to be active in Germany. Frankfurt Mayor Uwe Becker expressed a similar view. An airline that practices discrimination and anti-Semitism by refusing to fly Israeli passengers should not be allowed to take off or land in Frankfurt, Becker said. Courts in the United States and Switzerland previously have ruled in favor of plaintiffs in comparable cases, the German news agency DPA reported. A lawyer for the Israeli passenger called the verdict deeply shocking. This is an embarrassing ruling for democracy and for Germany lawyer Nathan Gelbart said. It cannot be allowed to stand like this.